So in chapter three, we talk about errors, talk about uh, how any type of observation we have, there's going to be errors related to it. So to understand the errors, we first have to understand the types of observations that we truly have. So this is just to show you that uh, you can actually survey in some really cool spots. And uh, here I'm taking some direct measurements of uh, certain observations. So we have direct observations. Direct observations are when you're taking something and you're physically actually going there and making a measurement. Something like a tape measure, a protractor, if you have it on your desk, if you're uh, drawing things, showing whatever you need to. A uh, total station, that's an example of what I just showed you, what I was looking through uh, through that instrument. Those are direct measurements. That is something that you're physically measuring between one thing and another. Now you have indirect measurements. Now that's where you, you, you're, you're calculating something. You're taking measurements that were direct measurements and then you are doing some sort of calculation to be able to come up with a number. So that's why we'll say the calculated. So let's take a look at this example right here. What if you want to figure out the distance from A to B? And all you could do if you were standing on A and you went all the way back over to, uh, all you could do is make a measurement uh, back over to C over here. Okay, so how are we going to be able to do that? If I want to know a distance from A to B, what is it you're going to be able to do? So the only thing you can do is I can get a distance from A to C. So say I have a thousand feet right there. Well, as I have my instrument set up on, on A, I can make an angle measurement, creating an angle at uh, CAB of 80 degrees. Well, I can also then go set up on C and get an angle measurement then of ACB of 40 degrees. And from that, from those measurements right there, which were all direct measurements, I can then get a distance, which was not done directly, of 1347.30 feet. So you ask, well, how do we do that? We do that with the law of sines, law of cosines. It's calculated. We take the uh, measurements which we have, and we can then come up with another, another uh, solution. So as you see right there, if I take the law of sines, I can then come up with what the distance of going across the gorge right there, going over the river, ends up being 1,347.30 feet. So that's an example then of using direct measurements to be able to calculate indirectly other measurements.